Where are they? Move aside, Knight Captain. I will not ask again. Do not question me. I may not be the ruler yet, but I will be. And trust me, I will remember this. Sweetheart. Oh, my love, what happened? Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. You're safe now. I want a report now. The nobles did this to them. And the townspeople did not intervene. They see an innocent person being attacked and they just... Watch? You're dismissed. Bring me those responsible for this. I will have their heads. I know, love. I, I know, I know. You have bruises everywhere. I know it must hurt. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Of course not. You didn't deserve that. Don't even speak like that. Love, look at me. This is my fault. It is. If I hadn't pursued you, if I hadn't insisted you be mine, none of this would have happened. You still mean that. You must be in so much pain. What did they... I love you. You know that. I just... don't deserve you. I can summon the physician again. She took a look at you when you first got here, but she could apply some... There is nothing to be ashamed about. This isn't your fault. Of course I'm furious. How am I the royal heir and yet I'm powerless to protect the one I love? Don't comfort me. I'm not the one who was beaten in the town square. I just want to find those bastards and deal with them myself. Make them suffer what you suffered ten times over. And I will. I promise you. You're too good, then. Most people would be begging for revenge. Nothing would happen to me, love. Just like from now on, nothing is going to happen to you. You'll stay here. Then I'll announce our engagement formally. My father will just have to accept it. I love you. Only you. You were born without a title, so what? There's more to life than titles and expectations and stupid rules. Then I would renounce the crown. Love, stop. You're, you're getting upset. Don't move. You'll hurt yourself. I... I know. But I don't know how else I can protect you. Alright. I won't. Just... Relax, love. I don't want you to hurt yourself more. The physician left some ointment to help ease the pain. I can summon her. I can. If that's what you wish. I'll start with the bruises on your face, alright? I'm not. It, it just... It kills me to see you like this. I should have been there. The ointment will help make the pain go away, I promise. How could I help? Are you sure? I don't want to hurt you further. Alright then. 
Let's start with your cheek. <laughs> and now your lips. Mm. Your lip is bloody. Oh, love. I'm glad. If my touch can help you forget theirs, then it's the least I can do. Now hold still. It won't sting. But if it does, I'll just have to shower you with kisses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. God, how long did they do this to you? I do want to know. Please, tell me. Oh, sweetheart, I... <sighs> Slow down, love. You're still hurt. I don't want to make things worse. There will be plenty of time for that, I promise. But for now, you need to let me help you. All right. Your arms next. Those beautiful arms that always hold me just perfectly. Mm. Your skin is warm. You're enjoying this. <laughs> I'm glad. I want you to be happy. Can I take a look at your chest? Is that alright? Okay. If it hurts, tell me. Oh, so many bruises. Oh, sweetheart. I know, I'm looking at you. Only you. I'll make the pain go away, I promise. But if you want me to stop, tell me, alright? I love your chest. It's the perfect pillow. <laughs> mm, well, it's perfect for lots of reasons, too. <laughs> you always gasp when I kiss right here. So expressive under my touch, sweetheart. <laughs> I love it. I love all those noises you make. Only for me. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's enough. I know, love. But you're hurt and you need rest. Let my father find out. You're not leaving my chambers until you're fully recovered. Because no one messes with what's mine. And you're the most precious jewel in this entire kingdom. You're tired, love. Why don't you sleep? I'm not going anywhere. I'll be right here, holding you. If you do, I'll wake you up. You can sleep easily with me, sweetheart. I love you too. Rest, love. I'll be here when you wake up. Hello everyone, thank you for listening to this wonderful script written by Lupin Stole My Heart. Once again, she proves that she's an absolute gem of a writer. Speaking of writing, I've got a couple of things working right now in the background. Quite a few things that I've been thinking about for a while. Can't wait to show them to you. Next week we'll be coming back with probably another improvisation or maybe a scripted story. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. In the meantime, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. 
and thank you again for coming by to the stroke of midnight. And as always, sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares.